All right, Buyer's Boot Camp still rolling. Got Dana here. She's taking time out of her busy day to help you guys on your way to mortgage, mortgage success, money success. So let's get into something called PMI, or is it private mortgage insurance? That's what exactly is, what it private is. Private mortgage yeah, insurance. PMI. People go, I don't want to pay PMI. And I say, why not? Do you have 20% to put down? Well, no. Well, then guess what? We have to pay PMI. PMI is a wonderful tool that allows people with less than 20% down to secure a home. And basically, it insures the lender in case the loan defaults. Mm -hmm. The beauty about Lake Michigan Credit Union is our loans perform so well, we have discounted rates with the PMI companies. That's, that's good to know. Yes. So PMI is based on credit score. I'm going to write this down. Mm -hmm. Down payment. The term of the loan, that means are you in a 30-year fixed? Are you in a 15-year fixed? Are you in a 20-year fixed? So the term is the time. Right. Term of the loan is the time of the loan. Yeah. Um, type of home, is it an investment property? Is it a second home? Is it your primary? All right. These things come into play in determining how much your monthly PMI is. Mm -hmm. Another little trick that we can do with PMI, we can do what's called upfront single premium PMI. And what we can do, Andy, when you're negotiating a contract in a, in a, in a sale, and you've got seller concessions perhaps, mm -hmm. we can have the seller pay the one-time PMI payment. So your client and my client comes in with less than 20% down, the seller is paying the one-time premium on behalf of the buyer, and, and our client never has to pay a PMI payment that's, with less than 20% down. There you go. Isn't that See, good? That's good. And that's, that's one of those things that the money's going to something that is gonna help you in the long term. Yeah. It's not like you're just getting $2,000 and you're gonna go, oh, let's go buy a refrigerator. Right. That's something that, that's money that's gonna save you long-term Oh money. my goodness, I mean, that's money you don't have to come up with. That's money that then up front, and then also you're not paying that monthly. So say say somebody, okay, you start out with 3% down. Okay. You start collecting equity in your house, you're yeah. making these payments. Yeah. Next thing you know, you have 20% equity. equity into uh -huh. the home. Uh -huh. What happens at that point? Okay, so if you do nothing, the PMI will drop off at 78% loan to value. If so you do nothing. that's 22% though. Right, it drops off. Okay. Okay. If you feel that your home has increased in value, which they are, they are increasing mm -hmm. in value, I want you to call Andy because Andy will pull comps and, and say, you know, Joe, guess what? Yeah, um, and we do that. Yes, your home has increased in value. Let's look at, you know, it looks like it's, it, it, it looks like you might have that 20%, 22% equity. So at that point, Andy's gonna give you that data. You're gonna call me and we will actually order an appraisal on yep. your behalf. Yep. And then the appraisal will give us the data and yeah, we can eliminate the PMI that way. And uh, what's an appraisal cost? 400? Yep. 400, 500 bucks? 400. What, yep. At the end of the day, what we're trying to do, if you eliminate PMI in the right time frame, you can save thousands yep. of dollars essentially. So mm -hmm. like she said, if you think, and a lot of people think that their home in this market, now that's leveling off, is worth more than it actually is, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Still call me. Uh, most of the people that I see, their neighbor's home sold uh, last year, whatever, but it's a big colonial, mm -hmm. there's a ranch, so we'll get into that stuff too. So PMI, something to look for, something to think about. It's a tool. It's a as tool. As you go in. Yeah. And it's basically the banks leveraging some of your money until you get enough equity build up that if you did foreclose, it would hurt them. It would hurt you, right? right? Because if I had, somebody has 1%, 3% into a house, and they can't make the payments, it's easy to walk away from three percent, right. right. three grand of a hundred thousand dollar house as opposed to twenty thousand dollars. That's right. hard to walk away from. Right. So that's why they, they want the, the insurance to insure themselves. Yep. All right, stay with us, we're rolling.